Fox 10 News, so log on and join in. Some Alabama Republicans are demanding an apology tonight after some controversial comments from a local Democratic state senator. She spoke at a Democratic meeting last night near Birmingham and told the group she believed racism has allowed Republicans to dominate Alabama politics. Fox 10 News reporter Andrew Perez has the story. I'm going to say what I need to say because you are affecting the children of this state of Alabama. This is the last time we heard from Senator Vivian Davis figures. She was fired up after a Republican supermajority ended discussion on a controversial Senate bill back in May. You're going to call security and ask him to take me off the floor? Senator Morris, you have recognized. I will go to jail over president. this one. This is uh, ridiculous, what I, what Madam I President. Explain. It's this same type of frustration she shared with Democrats in Homewood last night. She was asked if she believed believed racism was how Republicans came to dominate Alabama politics, to which she responded, I think so. With Obama coming in, it may have intensified a little, but it's, it's not based on race. The district I represent is a very conservative district, and those are just the values that the, the people of Mobile County and this state believe in. The move got some strong reaction from local Republicans. The Senate Minority Leader, however, maintains that since President Obama was elected, Republicans on nearly every level of government have attacked him on anything that he's done. Alabama Republican Party Chairman Bill Armistead says it's because of policy. Policies, not race. She ought to apologize to the Republican Party and to the Alabamans in general because this is nothing more than trying to uh, build uh, strife between groups of people in Alabama. And that's not what we're about. And she knows that and she ought to be ashamed of herself. In a statement, figures said in part, quote, I will apologize for nothing, I said on Tuesday evening. The statements at issue were made in response to a question posed by an audience member, and my response reflected my personal opinion regarding the matter of many Republican candidates in local and state races campaigning as if they were running against President Obama, end quote. Members who heard Figures' speech said they support her, and some even agree with her views. For now, reporting in Mobile, I'm Andrew Perez, Fox 10 News. We have Figures' full statement on our website, fox10tv.com. She is expected to sit down and discuss the issue with Fox 10 News when she returns to Mobile tomorrow.